Having to use treats can be a barrier when starting your cat training journey. Whether you're worried about your cat gaining weight or you can't find food that your cat will work for, it's no wonder so many people reach out to me to ask, are there alternative ways to train cats that don't require treats? In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you all about other rewards, do they work, and how do you reduce your cat's treat consumption? Hi, I'm Julie the Cat Teacher, and I show you how to teach your cat fun and practical skills to enrich their life and strengthen the cat-human bond. Sometimes people will ask, well, can you ever stop giving treats or rewards? And I like to think of that as the same thing as asking, would you ever go to work without a paycheck? We all need motivation to work hard and cats are no different. Our paycheck comes in the form of money. For cats, the best paycheck is usually food. So what happens if your cat isn't food motivated or if you don't want to use treats as rewards? Can cats be rewarded with praise and attention? Again, I like to look at our own behavior and ask, how long would we go to work if our boss patted us on the back and said, you've done a great job today? Chances are we wouldn't last very long at that job. Your cat is probably not going to work very hard for attention or praise. If your goal is to teach your cat a large repertoire of tricks and work in distracting environments, praise and pats are not going to get you that far. Can you use toys to reward a cat for training? Some cats are highly toy motivated, so toys can work as training rewards, especially if you're working on something with motion. It's by getting them to jump over things, maybe your arm or your leg, to jump over objects, and then finally the reward is to chase their toy. One disadvantage of working with toys is it's gonna get your cat amped up. So if you're trying to work on something where you want your cat to be calm and stationary, it's going to be harder to do that with toys. The other thing is that playing with a toy is going to take several seconds out of your training and take time to get your cat back into training mode. Let's put that on. Now, in contrast, a treat can be delivered to your cat in their position and only take them one or two seconds to eat so you can move on to the next repetition. Good. You're gonna make a lot faster progress when you're training with food than with toys. You wanna teach your cat a large repertoire of skills and you want them to be responsive in distracting environments you are going to want to start working with food. The good news is every cat has to eat. So there's always a way that we can work on building your cat's food motivation and finding rewards that they will work for. When a cat isn't accepting of any other food, it's generally because of something that's going on with their diet. If you're feeding your cat dry food and leaving dry food out all day, that is going to ruin your cat's food motivation. Because of the way dry food is processed, it also has a lot of flavor added to it to make it enticing for your cat. It competes with treats and can lower the value of anything else that you give your cat. To feed your cat moisture rich food, which is healthy for them anyway, so cats should be eating food with moisture, and then immediately you can start using the dry food for training. So this is the fastest way to get started on training your cat because you are, they already love their dry food and as long as you put it away and feed them something else for their meals, the dry food can turn into an excellent reward. If your goal is to reduce your cat's treat consumption, using their food is also a great way to do this. When you see me tossing a treat when I'm training Jones, it's often just pieces of dry food and I'm not giving him any special treats. If you're worried about weight gain, take a portion of your cat's food and start working with that. You can train with wet food on a spoon or you can use the pieces of dry food. Another way to reduce treat consumption is not to reward every skill. It can often be better not to reward each time. Consider this analogy. When you go to play a slot machine at a casino, you don't win every round but you're excited to keep playing because of the opportunity to win. 
Well, that's the same principle that we use in animal training. Our goal is for the cat to think that they always have an opportunity to win. As long as they do, they're going to work. The point is you do not have to reward each time. Just, you just want to make sure that you reward enough to keep your cat motivated and not frustrated. I often see people giving pieces that are way too large. I love working with freeze-dried treats because they're a healthy version of treats. They're just a single ingredient. But the other reason that I love working with them is because it's so easy to break them into tiny pieces. The other thing I recommend is try to deliver the food to encourage your cat to work a little harder for it. <laughs> Who's being a bad boy? <laughs> <laughs> so you can be savvy about your food delivery so you get your cat to work a little bit harder to get the treat. In this example, I'm working with the snuffle mat. So after he gets his click, I drop the treat in the mat or I bury the treat in there and then it just takes him that much longer to get his reward. So I'm always looking at ways to make the reward go a little bit further so it burns his energy a bit more before he gets to eat the treat. When it comes to cat training, food is the best paycheck, but you can learn how to use food properly so you aren't giving your cat anything unhealthy or causing them to gain weight. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe so your cat always gets their homework on time.